Hey beauties and art lovers, welcome back to my channel. It's Amira Kay and today I am giving you guys a video that I have really been anticipating, uh, a video I've been working very hard on uh, because it basically depends on me finishing a piece and the piece that I will be discussing in this video is this background uh, painting you see behind me. This is my Everything is Art painting inspired by uh, Beyonce and uh, Jay Z and uh, this was a picture that was released along with the debut of their album um, a couple weeks ago called everything is love and uh, this picture just really just captured me um, it's just one of those pictures that really just uh, hit something in me artistically and I really wanted to recreate this and put my own sort of painting style on this so before we get into it uh, you guys know or should know by now if you're subscribed to my channel that I love art art is always my first love and uh, this channel is not just for makeup and beauty and things like that I really wanted uh, you guys to know me as a well-rounded individual in all of my interests and that is fashion, makeup, and art. So today I'll be discussing um, just some, um, not necessarily trials and tribulations, but just the styling and technique. And you'll also be able to see how I created this piece from start to finish um, and clips that I'll be inserting throughout my explanation about how uh, this painting came to be and where you can get prints and where you can even buy the original if you're interested. So if you're interested in all that good stuff, please make sure you keep watching and please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. That way you stay um, updated on any new videos videos whether makeup fashion or art that I will be uh, presenting to you guys so if you're interested keep watching don't forget to subscribe then let's get right into it so I guess the best place to start would be why I wanted to do uh, this painting and um, it really came just from the regalness that I felt like the picture itself uh, stood out um, the way they were sort of holding hands the way they were sort of opposites of each other as far as their positioning but really coming together and it almost looked like they wanted well not almost but it's obvious that they wanted the Mona Lisa painting to be um, sort of like this centerpiece that they were you know in the presence of and to me it looked like one of those paintings that one of one of those sort of older rich couples it looked like the picture of a painting that somebody might have in their house you know if they were a couple in a house this looks like a painting they would commission to like hang up in their like foyer or something like that like that's what it looked like to me so um i guess i didn't really see it as a photograph in my head i looked at the photo as a painting like it looked like a painting to me when i looked at it um their positioning um their stature, their facial expressions. It looked like something that I would love to paint. So really it just came from that initially. I wouldn't even say it was really, you know, them as celebrities themselves. You know, I like Jay-Z, I like Beyonce, but I think it was more about the composition of the photograph that really screamed like something I really was interested in painting. One of the things that gave me some pause early on while beginning this piece was obviously uh, Beyonce. I've painted Jay-Z a few different times and um, he has one of those faces that's very, um, I shouldn't say easy, but he has characteristics in his face that are very um, specific to him. And so capturing him and recreating him on canvas isn't as much of a challenge for me. Uh, Beyonce posed some hesitation with me. I won't say trouble, but hesitation because she obviously is, they both are, but Beyonce has sort of like this cult following. Uh, these people that really embrace her and really defend her 
through <laughs> any pretty much any medium any type of capacity possible so my first concern was okay I want to finish this piece I want to present it to um, you know my social media community um, on different platforms and things like that and what was going to be the backlash if I did not capture her correctly other than Mona Lisa she's kind of like battling between the first and the second thing that you look at when you look at this photograph and anytime you try to recreate somebody's face you know people get very defensive about that people get very passionate about about that and it's usually because um if you critique some other art form usually portraiture is the easiest thing to critique because you're always relating it to the source to the source that you're using to create from so it's something that to me was like okay I have to lock this down because the eye if I'm going to um, muddle down the Mona Lisa then that leaves Beyonce and Jay-Z to be the focal points of this piece and um, as much as people love Jay-Z I think uh, aesthetically they would first look at Beyonce to look at you know the likeliness and was the relation there could it be compared did I do a good enough job to achieve her likeness so one of the things I wanted to make sure that I did with uh, Beyonce was sort of unidentified with her as a person unidentified with her as um, this celebrity and really break her down in my mind as shapes and figures um, so that way if I'm breaking her down into puzzle pieces then to me I wanted her likeness and I wanted her recreation to be sort of like a surprise so while I'm painting her I'm not going to be defeated and sort of look at her like this this doesn't look like her this doesn't look like her you know and that's something that is very difficult to do um, when you do portraits um, especially of famous people because you know that that's going to be the judgment so um, it really took a lot of focusing while I was painting her to unidentify with her completely remove the fact that I was familiar with this person and familiar with this face and that you know she's probably considered one of the biggest stars in the world if not the biggest star in the world right now and really break her down just like any other portrait would be just like any other commission work would be and break her down into shapes and not feel so intimidated by the fact that you know she was probably going to be the make or break of this piece I went into this piece feeling very encouraged and and and, and I just knew I said oh this is going to take me two days if I just work 24 7 this is just going to take me two days and I'll post it and it'll be good and everything and it took me about two weeks <laughs> I just couldn't see myself really satisfied you know and other pieces I'll admit this piece kind of pushed me beyond my comfort level when it came to things that I was willing to let go and things that I wasn't the um you know and that's where I could see some of my growth as an artist is that certain things certain parts certain colors that I would be satisfied with um previously I'm like no this is this is a smidge off this is a smidge off you know what I mean that angle isn't really right I could get away with it but do I really want to and it started to be almost a uh, um just a push of my will and just how much did I want it how much did I want to really make sure that I was capturing this piece the way I saw it in my head this piece has sort of introduced me to a a, a new level of work ethic and that's what I, I think is so special about this piece personally for me I feel like I got out of my head and put on canvas exactly what I wanted but it just it, I mean it really pushed me past of the level of satisfaction that I'm usually okay with and so now I have um, a different work ethic and a different appreciation for uh, recreating pieces because this was not easy at all even Jay-Z I speak on how he does have features that are easier for me to recreate and he wasn't 
as much of a challenge for me as um, Beyonce, but he still had factors in himself like his suit and achieving those colors and achieving those shapes and really seeing what type of um, detail that I wanted to keep and what type of details I wanted to muddle down. Um, hair is always kind of iffy for me because um, it's usually a point of do I want to go extra detailed or do I want to go more abstract with the hair. Um, so even him and um, trying to make sure that I kept the shapes of his face authentic but also trying to blend it. I'm not a huge fan of blending on my art pieces. I kind of like things to look abstract. I like to tell the story of my pieces by showing the brush strokes. If you notice closely I kept Jay-Z like I blended him to a certain extent but um, I left some shapes a little more abstract. And with Beyonce, I kind of blended a lot more. And I wanted to do that subtly um, to sort of show their contrast. Even in the photograph, I think they have a bit of a contrast, which I think people really enjoy, you know, the idea of her coming from, you know, this uh, Houston, Texas and, you know, two parent home and really polished and did the girl band thing and, you know, just this sort of very sort of American sweetheart type of thing and, you know, him coming from Marcy Projects <laughs> in New York and, you know, former drug dealer and, you know, sort of the whole big pimping thing and just having that contrast. I wanted to show that. Um, artistically too because I think that's what complements them so well as a couple but also uh, showing in this photograph sort of these different worlds coming together to make like this new this newfound sort of idea of regalness and hip-hop regalness so to speak so if you're interested keep watching let's get right into this piece from start to finish <music>
guys that is my paint and chat for this everything is art piece featuring uh jay-z and beyonce inspired by their everything is love uh album as well as their uh photography that they dropped i hope you enjoyed this video and uh enjoyed my commentary along with you know seeing this uh piece from start to finish and how it came about a lot of times i feel like you know uh, people post artwork like on Instagram or Twitter or whatever and you really don't really get to um, understand the force behind that piece and what it took to create it and I really wanted to bring that to my subscribers I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a comment down below um, so I know to keep doing videos like this you can check out more of my artwork at America art um, on Instagram and on Twitter of course make sure you guys are following me on any other uh, social platforms that snapchat all that good stuff so you guys can uh, just keep up with my artwork and things like that I'll be doing more videos like this again if you guys want me to but I need to know so leave your comments down below thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one bye